Final Driver. Final Driver. Hey, what's up, you guys? Jordan Miss Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review on the Marvel Legends Series 1 Iron Man Gold Variant. Must give a big thank you to John 3.0. Thanks so much again for this amazing gift, dude. Incredible. I have wanted this thing forever, and it is absolutely great. Gorgeous, man. It's everything I wanted it to be. It really is badass, though, man. I've wanted this guy since I started collecting Marvel Legends and just always thought it was something that was just out of my grasp. The best deal I ever saw for this was Century Productions picked his up for 40 bucks at Comic-Con last year, and the box was hella nasty looking. So, that, you know, that show, I mean, this thing usually goes for 100 bucks. John found a really good deal on it and gave it to me as a Christmas gift, and damn man, thank you so much. Actually, it makes me feel good that I feel really guilty when my friends give me really amazing gifts, you know, I, I, I tend to just be like that. But anyway, this guy is freaking sick, man. Oh my god, okay, so, the like, oh my god, the paint is so nice, it's just so shiny. Now, there are two versions, aside from this one, this is the gold variant one, and he has this cool looking helmet right here, which is different from the first one, so this is the original looking one right here, and here's the variant. Then there's a blue stealth variant also, and that one looks like this. I still don't have that one, but uh, one day I'll get it, you know, one day. But this is just really, really, I mean, this gold one is the one I wanted out of the stealth and, um, and the gold. Just beautiful shimmering paint, like you guys know. I'm just holding this guy here so you can see his comparison. You have to be very careful with these figures, by the way. They are quite delicate. Here are a lot of stories of people breaking them. Um, but just a very nice, shiny paint. Very, very cool. I like it a lot. Top of the feet just reflect light really. I mean, everything just reflects light really, really well. Just absolutely gorgeous, man. Now, the articulation on him is pretty cool, but I gotta be really delicate going through the articulation with this guy. I almost don't wanna do it. He can look up. And he does look down, and he moves side to side. And by the way, the reason why this review came later is because I just opened him recently. I actually wanted to avoid opening him, so I had him on display on my wall for a while here in the bedroom. Anyway, he has an armpit joint right here. You can see how it kind of leaves a gap if you move it a lot. He has a ball joint on the shoulder, bicep swivel up there, or shoulder swivel, bicep swivel I call it, double jointed elbow. He rotates right here. On this one, it's kind of locked in, so I have to do the solid snake trick where I put it in um, in ice and then run hot water on it so I can loosen it up or else I know I'm going to break that. Damn, that just looks so nice. This thing looks so damn clean. Same thing on the other side. He has the finger articulation. They move right there. It moves up and down at the wrist. He has this joint right here that's non-existent this abdomen diaphragm joint doesn't really move too much I think I've gotten it to move on the regular ver no it's better not to mess with it it's very delicate the waist joint is very very delicate he has uh, leg articulation that moves up and forward thigh swivel right here double jointed knees you can see that the gold paint is actually kind of coming off a little bit already from the little bit I've been posing it and you can see the yellow underneath right there so it's just gold painted right now you can see it Right there a little bit too. So it's just gold paint painted right over. He has a calf swivel right there. Ankle moves up and down. Itty bitty ankle pivot. Toe joint right there and it moves forward and back. So that is that. Oh god, this thing just this is very, very cool. Just gotta be super careful with him. Can't can't force anything, just gotta be delicate. Love this guy. Oh yeah, and his mask comes off. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Pretty important. Nice Tony Stark head sculpt right there. Looks pretty cool. So, damn. I just love this thing. This guy, he wins the big ACBA seal of approval. Crispy. And he comes with this base right here, which is the same exact thing as the one that comes with the regular version of Iron Man. So this is actually quite nice. This Stark Tower thing. The thing I really like about Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Did I mention this is a Series 1, so it's actually you know, really impressive. It has this hole right here, so you put a push pin right through there. I like the gold on it. Got this nice black wash over the gray. Looks fantastic. Stark has actually kind of got a little bit of a shine to it, not too much. 
little black wash on the letters actually. And then there's the base of it right here. Very cool detail. Reminds me of like the detail that the Marvel Selects have in their bases. You can see all the way 2002. 10 years of Marvel Legends. So happy that the Marvel Legends have made a comeback, you guys. Then you just stick it into the hole like this. Ugh. And then, there you go. You got the base. And there's holes that stick up right here and right here. So you can have old Iron Man standing right now. I wanted to call him Hornhead because he has to have old Hornhead. But um, I forgot what exactly, what period this came out. I know it's really, really early. I think it was... I'm not even going to try to pretend I know, I don't know, but I'm sure you guys are going to want to say so in the comments, those that do, and kudos to you for knowing something I don't. There you go, good job. Alright, size comparisons. Here he is next to the Stealth, or the Blue Extremist Iron Man, so again you can see this Extremist Iron Man's a little on the smaller side. Here he is next to Crimson Dynamo. Um, Crimson Dynamo is a little bit shorter than Iron Man, which, you know, I don't really like. I feel like Crimson Dynamo should be bigger, but, you know, it's not Iron Man's fault. You know, he was born first. You know, this guy came around and came out too short. Then here he is next to Thor. Now, this is the Return of Marvel Legends Thor, and I think they will work great in scale together. That's just perfectly fine. So that's pretty cool. Then here he is next to my favorite Iron Man figure, which is the modern, Th uh, <laughs> modern Thor, which is the modern Iron Man armor. And uh, they're about the same height. They're very, very close. But damn, this actually might be my new favorite Iron Man. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just a great, great figure. I, th I really like the sculpt on this one definitely the most, though. But the paint on this guy right here. Ah, it's so awesome. Dude, just the way I I'm just tripping off of recording this video and just looking at how the light reflects off of it. It is just awesome. It just looks so glorious. I, I really, really like this figure a lot. Thank you so much, John 3.0. I can't tell you. Thank you enough. Just fucking awesome. Just a really, really good... Look at that, man. That is sick. Come on. Uh, all right, I'm, not, I'm really not hamming it up because it's a gift. I really... I mean, come on. If you don't think that's a hella kick-ass figure, then you are not a Marvel Legends collector, man. Marvel Legends... Dude, that... Uh, just, okay, later. Man, that was great. Now, what do I do now? What are you talking about, man? You should tell me go to bkvn.net. It's your number one source for news, reviews, and more. So go there, tell me. I'm going to bkvn.net. bkvn.net. Celebrate your nerdum in a big way.